Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are discussing limits and derivatives and this is in lecture number 5. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 4 before watching this part 5. In this lecture, uh, we are going to discuss uh, some basic concepts and as well as some questions related to derivative of uh, function. So, we have uh, learned the basic concept in the previous lecture. Now we have to discuss uh, some more basic concepts. What we have learned uh, that algebra, al derivative of algebraic function, derivative of algebraic, algebraic function, we have already learned that d by dx of x to the power n is n x to the power n minus 1 right like this so derivative of d by dx of 1 by x can be considered as d by dx of x to the power minus 1 using the same formula it will be minus 1 n n is minus 1 x to the power n n that is minus 1 minus 1 so it is nothing else but uh, minus 1 to the into x to the power minus 2. So this is minus 1 by x square. So derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. You can call this dy dx of root x is what? So dy dx of x to the power 1 by 2. Here root means power 1 by 2. So we can use it n is 1 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1. And this is nothing else but 1 by 2 x to the power minus 1 by 2. And minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 in denominator. And that is nothing else but 2 root x. So these are few things which is applicable of in derivative of the function. If the function is, if uh, fx and gx are any two function, if fx and gx are any two function, any two function of x, right, then derivative of dy dx of fx plus gx is nothing else but we will do it dy dx of fx plus dy dx of gx right now we can do that separately we can operate this this is a dy dx is an operator and we can operate each one of them separately similarly if there is a negative sign then we can have dy dx of fx plus minus gx in that case also we can do that dy dx of fx minus dy dx of gx dy dx of gx right now so dy dx of gx so these are two things which can be discussed so fx and gx these are the two functions so if they are in form of addition or subtraction then we can do that if similarly if they are in form of product then what you will do so that is called product rule product rule what is this if u and v are u and v are any two function two function of x then d by dx of u and v this is the product of two functions so you can write u as it is derivative of v dy dx of v plus v as it is dy dx of u so this is what we can do this is called product rule similarly uh, if there is a quotient they are in form of division then that is called quotient rule quotient rule and in quotient rule what is that in quotient rule that uh, if u and v dy dx of u by v is that function then we will write v derivative of u minus u derivative of v divided by v square that is called quotient rule denominator whole square so product rule and quotient rule you have to remember this one more thing you need to pay attention here that is uh, if d by dx of c u 
u be any function of x and c is constant then c will be taken outside of this and derivative of u can be operated where c is any constant c is any constant so whenever there is a constant is multiplier with any function then constant can be taken out from the function and derivative of that variable function uh, can be takes place but if c is an independent function then derivative of that is zero so now let us discuss some questions from the exercise and exercise is 13.2 uh, let us discuss some questions on the basis of this and here is a question number one question is find the derivative of find the derivative of derivative of x square minus 2 at x is equal to 10 so we have to do this means we have to find derivative of this so dy dx of x square minus 2 at x is equal to 10 we have to calculate so this can be written as dy dx of x square minus dy dx of 2 x square this is x to the power n so we will write 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 for derivative of this and because it is an independent constant so derivative of that will be 0 2 minus 1 is 1 so it will be 2 x when x is 10 then when x is 10 so then dy dx of is equal to 2 into 10 that is 20 so rate of change is 20 dy by dx is 20 and y is nothing else but here x square minus 2 so y is we can write derivative of y is in place of y we can write x square minus 2 so derivative of we can write it derivative of dy dx of x square minus 2 at x is equal to 10 is 20 and that will be answer of this question now the next questions are here and that is given question number 2 find the derivative of x at x is equal to 1 find the derivative of derivative of x at x is equal to 1 so again you have to go with d by dx of x because function is in terms of x so we can find derivative in terms of x so dx by dx is 1 so when x is equal to 1 dx by dx is also 1 because it is independent of x it is independent of x independent of x so at 1 it is also 1, at 2 it is also 1, at 3 it is also 1. So isn't it interesting this? That is a constant. Derivative rate of change is constant. Find the derivative of 99x. Find the derivative of 99x at x is equal to 100. So in that case also you can have d derivative of dy dx of 99x is 99 can be taken out and dy dx of x and dx by dx is 1. So 99 into 1 is 99 which is independent of x which is independent of x independent of x and therefore at x is equal to 100 therefore at x is equal to 100 derivative of 99 x is also 99 d by dx of 99 x is 99 answer i hope you got it okay now uh, let us discuss question number four and onward but they are have to be uh, solved from first prince but it is given here find the derivative of the following Find the derivative of the following, derivative of the following function, function from first principle, from first principle, principle, right. So, very first question is, fx is equal to given here 
दैट एक्स क्यू माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन और वाई इज इक्वल टू से लेट वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स क्यू माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन सो बाई डेफिनेशन वी कैन राइट है देर फोर बाई डेफिनेशन And what will happen here? So if x plus delta x is nothing x, but x plus delta x whole cube minus twenty seven, by definition dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to zero. F x plus delta x minus f x divided by delta x, isn't it? This is the first principle that we have to discuss. What by definition? Okay, so we will write therefore dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to zero. F x plus delta x is nothing else but x plus delta x to the whole q minus twenty seven minus f x is uh, x q minus twenty seven and whole divided by delta x. So we can move uh, do this. That is limit delta x tends to zero. Here x, if I took common x plus delta x by x, whole to the power three minus, or even we can write it like no need to do this. Even we can open this bracket. That is x cube plus three x square delta x plus three x delta x whole square plus delta x whole cube minus twenty seven. Minus x cube plus twenty seven, whole divided by delta x. This twenty seven and this twenty seven cancels out. X cube x cube cancels out, and now I can take it as x cube because the, we will divide it by delta x. So delta x can be taken common. There will be three x square plus three x and one delta x will left, and here delta x whole square will be left out. Isn't it? And now this will be uh, whole divided by delta x. So delta x, delta x cancel. When delta x is equal to zero, then it will be three x square because the rest of them this will be also zero. This will be also zero. So here derivative of dy dx of x cube minus twenty seven. Why is x cube minus twenty seven? Is three x square, and that is answer. So this is what we have to do with the first principle. Now the next question is part two. Part two of this is x minus one and x minus two. It is given here. So we can write here again. Let we can do that. Let y is equal to f x. And that is equal to x minus one, x minus two, which further can be written as x square minus three x plus two. Can I write like this? Yes. Now, if x plus delta x can be written as what? X plus delta x whole square minus three x plus delta x plus two. Now, by definition, we can write by definition. Definition: dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to zero. F x plus delta x minus f x f x whole divided by delta x. Right now, so we can do this. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to here f x plus delta x is three x x plus delta x whole square. Isn't it? This is what. X plus delta x whole square minus three x plus delta x minus two minus x square minus three x plus two. Right now, so this was plus two divided by delta x, where limit delta x tends to zero. I should write this side, but no, no problem. We can write anywhere. Now. Uh, If it is comes like delta x tends to zero, this is x square plus two x delta x plus delta x whole square minus three x minus three delta x plus two minus x square plus three x minus two. Two and two cancels out, and this three x and this three x will cancels out. 
this x square this x square will cancel out and now what is left so whole divided by delta x so we can go ahead again and we can write it limit delta x tends to 0 in rest of the function delta x is common everywhere so we can take delta x common this is 2x left here here 1 delta x is left and here minus 3 is left whole divided by delta x delta x delta x cancel now delta x tends to 0 so it will be 2x minus 3 and that will be the answer so question can be solved like this now third part of the question is uh, third part is 1 by x square isn't it 1 by x square so we can do that by taking this let fx is equal to 1 by x square y is equal to fx and fx is defined as 1 by x square let y is equal to fx which is equal to 1 by x square so if x plus delta x is equal to 1 upon x plus delta x whole square isn't it this is first one this is second one now uh, we can go ahead with dy by dx is equal to therefore by definition by definition dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 fx plus delta x minus fx whole divided by delta x so we can write this limit delta x tends to 0 1 upon x plus delta x whole square minus 1 upon x square whole divided by delta x that can be written as limit delta x tends to 0 x square minus x plus delta x whole square whole divided by x square into x plus delta x whole square into delta x this delta x isn't it so we can write here that uh, limit x delta x tends to 0 dy by dx is equal to x square minus x square plus 2x delta x minus delta x square right now whole divided by whole divided by x square into x plus delta x whole square into delta x that is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 this x square x square cancels and now minus 2x delta x plus uh, this was and it will be minus delta x whole square so that will be minus delta x whole square delta x square right now so it will be minus delta x whole square divided by delta x into x square and x plus delta x whole square now if i took delta x common from numerator what will happen then dy therefore dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 if i took delta x common it will be minus 2x minus delta x whole divided by x square into x plus delta x whole square into delta x this delta x this delta x cancels now by putting delta x 0 there is no problem we can write it um, 0 upon x square into x plus 0 whole square that is x square here also so this is minus 2x upon x to the power 4 and that is nothing else but minus 2 by x cube and that will be the answer of this question i hope you got it these are some easy questions and uh, we can solve them accordingly so don't worry about that question number four i am looking for fx is equal to say y is equal to fx is equal to and fx is defined as x plus one upon x minus one this is what so here solution we will write y is equal to since y is equal to fx and fx is equal to x plus one upon x minus one this is first one now fx plus delta x is what so f x plus delta x is equal to wherever there is an x we will write x plus delta x plus 1 upon x plus delta x minus 1 
this is the second equation now we'll write again go for definition by definition nation dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 fx plus delta x minus fx all divided by delta x so we will put here value therefore dy by dx is equal to therefore dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 x plus delta x plus 1 upon x plus delta x minus 1 minus x plus 1 upon x minus 1 whole divided by delta x that is further can be written as x minus 1 into x plus 1 plus delta x isn't it minus x plus 1 into x minus 1 plus delta x plus delta x and in denominator it will be x minus 1 into x minus 1 plus delta x isn't it that can be written as x plus 1 x minus 1 into delta x and uh, this delta x also right now so what will happen now if i multiply with limit x delta x tends to 0 x minus 1 and x plus 1 so that will be x minus 1 x plus 1 plus delta x times x minus 1 again here also x minus 1 and x plus 1 and uh, this plus minus minus delta x into x plus 1 whole divided by x minus 1 x minus 1 plus delta x into delta x now we can see this this and this cancels out because these are the same things and out of these two delta x can be taken common so what will happen in that case if i write here delta x tends to zero if i took delta x common then this will be like uh, x minus one and from here it will be also um, minus x minus one right and divided by what is left here left out is uh, delta x that cancels out and x minus 1 into x minus 1 plus delta x so it will be nothing else but uh, here x and x cancels out minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 divided by x minus 1 whole square that will be the answer so i hope you got it right now and this is what i want to say that uh, delta x delta x cancel when delta x will be zero this will be zero and numerator it will be minus two and denominator it will be x minus one and x minus one that will be x minus one minus one now let us solve question number five and this is given that for a function for the function for the function fx is equal to x fx is equal to x to the power 100 by 100 x to the power 100 by 100 plus x to the power 99 by 99 plus up to x square by 2 plus x plus 1 prove that prove that f dash 1 is equal to 100 times of f dash 0 f dash 1 is equal to 100 times of f dash 0 here dash means derivative so given that fx is equal to x to the power 100 by 100 plus x to the power 99 by 99 plus like this x square by 2 plus x plus 1 then f dash x must be equal to means derivative of x so derivative of x will x to the power 100 this will be 1 by 100 outside and derivative of x to the power 100 is 100 x to the power 99 
99 will be there and this will be 99 x to the power 98 similarly 1 by 2 is taken outside and derivative of x square is 2x derivative of x is 1 and derivative of 1 is 0 so that will be x to the power 99 plus x to the power 98 and like this this will be 2x plus 1 now uh, it is given that f dash 1 is equal to what so put x is equal to 1 this will be 1 to the power 99 1 to the power 98 till 2 into 1 till 1 so sum of 1 this is also x now not 2x but this is just an x 2 to cancels out now so that is x <coughs> so here the value is 1 to 1 1 1 so 1 1 1 1 here power is 1 to 99 so total sum is this is 101 from 1 to 99 is there and this one makes 100 so this is total 100 right now 100 times of 1 so if this is 100 times of 1 and f dash 0 if i put 0 then what will happen this is 0 this is 0 this all everything will be 0 and there will be 0 to the power 99 plus 0 to the power 98 like this up to 0 plus 1 is 1 only. So <coughs> f dash 0, 100 times of f dash 0, therefore 100 times of f dash 0 is 100 times of 1 that is 100, isn't it? And this is what? f dash 1. So this is the proof. Proof. Okay, I hope you got it. Now there must be one more question that is question number 6 and this is question is given that find the derivative of derivative of derivative of x to the power n plus a x to the power n minus 1 plus a square x to the power n minus 2 like this up to a to the power n minus 1 x plus a to the power n for some <coughs> fixed real number a for some fixed real number a real number a right so that we have to discuss so solution is like uh, <coughs> if i find the derivative of this with respect to x so d by dx of x to the power n plus a x to the power n minus 1 plus a square x to the power n minus 2 like this plus a to the power n minus 1 into x plus a to the power n <coughs> where a is any real number right now. So we can take the constant as outside and we can write this like dy dx of x to the power n plus d by dx of all things that will be a d by dx of x to the power n minus 1 plus a square will be taken outside and d by dx of x to the power n minus 2 like this plus a to the power n minus 1 into d by dx of x plus d by dx of <coughs> a to the power n. So that will be n x to the power n minus 1 a into n minus 1 x to the power n minus 2 that is a square n minus 2 into x to the power n minus 3 like this this will be a to the power n minus 1 <coughs> isn't it that will be a to the power n minus 1 and dx by dx is 1 plus a to the power n this is independent constant so derivative of that will be 0. Now the whole things will come like n x to the power n minus 1 <coughs> plus n minus 1 into a x to the power n minus 2 plus n minus 2 a square x to the power n minus 3 like this and that will be a to the power n minus 1 this will be the answer of this question. So hopefully you have learned all these things, <coughs> you must note down this 
and uh, definitely you will be able to practice them hopefully you will do that i am sure about that and uh, next lecture we will solve some other questions till then you must try your own right okay bye bye thanks god bless you keep watching and if you haven't subscribed this channel yet do subscribe this thank you thank you very much